as an organization, OAFLAD has also worked with our partners to establish an education working group to support OAFLAD member states advocacy initiatives to enhance enrollment in schools, especially at the primary school level, intensifying stay-in school policies and programs, and overall ensuring access to education for all. The Education Working Group in Waflad is actively pursuing key priorities, including early childhood education to improve access to education for children under the age of seven years, advocating for education and nutrition strategies by calling on our governments to increase their commitment to school feeding programs, intensifying education advocacy by having our first ladies of Africa advocate for increased access to education for all. Ladies and gentlemen, the benefits of educating girls, especially while still young, are great. It, it is where, not for education, many of us would not be here as first ladies. Educated women contribute significantly to economic growth, reduce poverty rates, and improve health outcomes for themselves and their families. When girls success and complete their education, they are more likely to explore work outside the home, challenge gender stereotypes, and break the circle of poverty in their lives and families. By providing girls with a solid foundation, we equip them with the skills and knowledge they need to succeed. 60% of our continent's population is under the age of 25, which emphasizes the importance of education in unlocking the potential of our continent's youth, particularly girls. This is a call to our respective governments, civil society organizations, and partners to prioritize investments, policies, and programs that will enable every girl to attend school. This requires allocating a higher percentage of national budgets to education. We thank OAFLAD for its commitment to empowering girls in Africa through education, building a more equitable society, and unlocking opportunities for prosperity for our continent's youth.